Hello, welcome to the channel. And today we have Lee code 64, minimum part sum. So this question, basically looking at this example, we can see um, we will have a matrix and we are moving from the uh, top left to all the way to the bottom right, right here. And you can only move right or down every step. So you can go down, right, down, right, or down, right, right, down. And to go from bottom left to the, um, I mean, top left to the bottom right. And that's a solution. We are looking for the minimum of the path. So you see this total from this path is seven. If you go from this, this route um, is nine. If you go for like this, the total of this is nine. Uh, I will quickly uh, go through this question because I think this question is one of the easiest one to start with for dynamic programming. Uh, let's take a look. So what we can do, because we are standing right here, in order to stand here, we need to have one, no matter what. So this is one. If you go from this route, when we step to the second step, which is turn right, we have four, which is the current one plus left. And in here is the same. And oh, or you can go down. If you go down, it will have the current cost, which is one, plus the top one. So we have two for this step. So if you go to this step, total is four, go to this step, total is two. So now we look at this step right here. So this step, we're looking for the minimum one. In this step, we're already taking five as five uh, costs right here. And we're looking for the minimum path, which is the minimum of this number and this number. So we get this one right here. So we get to this with only seven costs for this one. So now we try to go through the whole matrix and we at this place because this is the, the top one. Anytime we go through this top one and uh, the most left one, we have to uh, default as a superior one. So now we add this one, one, plus the superior one, which is four. So it's five for this cost. And look at this case, four plus two, so it's six. And let's go through this again. Add this one, one, plus the minimum one, which is five. So add up is six. And six right here, seven here, two is here. Two plus six is eight. And one is right here, plus six only is seven, which is the answer right here. And this is how we solve this case. And hopefully you get it and pretty straightforward, right? Then we can jump to the code right array. First thing first, check the if it's no or red dot lane equal to zero, then we return zero because it's not uh, the no path. Uh, so we loop through the whole entire matrix, right? By having double for loop. So i is equal to zero, i less than grid dot lane i plus plus. So also have a j is a column equal to zero. J is less than grid dot. The first row range and j is plus plus. This is how we have a double for loop to look through this matrix, right? First, we, we need to check if it's at this place, it doesn't change any, it doesn't do anything. So if i equal to zero and j is equal to zero, we skip that. So if now we also have a condition in here, if i is equal to zero, at that time, we will have 
Let me see. We will have grid i j plus and equal to, we have this number added to the previous accumulate number. Uh, grid dot i j minus one, which is the previous left number. So else if j is equal to zero, at that time, grid i j plus or equal to grid. So in this case, if j is equal to zero, so grid i j, the current number is equal to current number plus the previous top number. So plus and equal to the previous top will be i minus one. J. So now we have this two case cover, which is the first column, I mean, first column and first row cover. The rest of them will follow this idea to check. Now we're looking for the least pass, the integers, least, uh, I mean, just find the minimum pass equal to uh, mat.min of this two number right here, which is grid dot i j minus one or grid i minus one j. So this is the min part and also we need to do the i j plus and equal to the min path. So you cover all the cases right here. For this double for loop, at the end, so at the end right here, we return the end of this, uh, this place right here. So which is grid dot grid dot link minus one and grid zero dot link minus one. So that should be this location right here. And that's it for this question. Let's run it. Uh, typo, okay. Mm, not a typo. Okay. Check. All right, and looks good now. And that's it for this question. And uh, if you have any question, please comment it below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.